up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. Welcome to episode number 5 in my How to Makeup for Beginners, a Back to Basics series. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to apply setting powder and my recommendations of the best no-fail setting powders for beginners. So let's get straight into this video. <laughs> On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the Key Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. This is episode number five in my How to Make Up for Beginners, a Back to Basics series. Last week, we talked about how to apply concealer slash highlight and cream contour. Now that brings us to step number five in our makeup application, which is applying setting powder. The reason why we do this after applying all our cream products is so that they don't crease and settle into our fine lines. Applying a setting powder after applying our cream products will also ensure that our makeup will last a whole lot longer throughout the day and look a lot more smooth and flawless as well. So a lot of you may or may not be asking, why do we need setting powder? While the reasons for applying setting powder are extensive, the main reason is that applying powder atop your liquid or cream foundation is to help set it so that it won't migrate into any lines or slide off your face throughout the day. Depending on the type of powder you use, they can also reduce the look of fine lines and pores. Applying a setting powder also provides you a great base on top of which you can apply your powdered bronzer, your powdered contour, your powdered blush, or powdered highlight. Light. While these things can be applied directly on top of your foundation if you like, they're less likely to apply patchy and everything will always last a lot longer when there's a setting powder in your makeup application. Now all the different types of setting powders can be really confusing because there are so many kinds of different finishes, different purposes like HD powder, setting powder, translucent powder, pressed powder, loose powder, tinted powder, finishing powder, all these kinds can be so confusing. But for me personally, I feel that the best way to go as a beginner in makeup is to use a loose, clear, no color translucent powder. That could look like something like this. This is the RCMA translucent no color powder or this. Now again, there is no one right way to apply your setting powder. You could use a brush or you could use a beauty sponge or both. I, however, prefer a sponge because this ensures that the powder is pressed into all the lines and crevices and contours of my face. I'm going to be using the RCMA Translucent No Color Powder and I'm going to be using a sponge to apply it. Now when I apply my setting powder, I like to first go in the places that I've applied my cream concealer slash highlight and contour, which I covered in last week's video. I will leave the playlist of all these episodes in the description box down below so you can go check it out if you so wish. So I'm just going to take my makeup sponge and load it up with a bit of powder. Now making sure that I've pressed and blended out all the lines and wrinkles and creases in the cream concealer. I'm now going to go in with the powder and I'm just going to press that into the areas where I have applied my concealer. Now you could do the technique called baking, which is once you've applied it, you can leave it on there and that will help ensure your makeup will last even longer and give your face an even more airbrushed look. But it's not necessary in a makeup application. For me on an everyday basis, I just like to go in with a powder like this and then continue to blend it out with the sponge until that powder is pressed in into all the lines and crevices of my face and making sure that all the cream products that I have applied on underneath have been well and truly set. Next, I'm going to load up my sponge again and then go into the areas where I've applied my cream contour. And just set all of that down. And that is how you apply setting powder. For beginners in makeup, again, I would definitely recommend a setting powder that is clear, has no extra tint or color in it, so that when you're applying it on your face, you're not left with a different shade than before you applied your setting powder. So I recommend the RCMA Translucent No Color Powder and the Maybelline Master Fix Perfecting Setting Powder. Both of these are really good in setting the skin and blurring all fine lines and pores. 
You could also try any other powder, but just make sure if you are a beginner in makeup, you're first trying out the powders that have no tint or color in them. So that's it for this video. That is how you apply setting powder and my recommendations for the best no-fail setting powders for beginners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for next week's video where I will be talking about how to apply bronzer and blush for beginners. So ring the notification bell and stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. You can also turn on the notification bell so you're notified of the three videos that I put out every single week. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Episode number Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. Welcome. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Judy here with blush, bronzer, contour, bronzer. <laughs> applying a setting powder. Applying a setting powder also in where I talk about how to apply blush, bronzer, bronzer. We're applying bronzer, bronzer, and blush. <laughs>